anymore hey youtube how you guys doing welcome back to my channel i hope that you guys are having a wonderful day child today we gotta talk about some unrelationship goals for 2024 okay we got people divorcing and splitting up and cheating and lying to themselves and oh lord but anyway let's start with let's start with cardi b and offset so cardi b and offset have been into it for a little quick minute now um cardi b exposed on her instagram post that she had been single for a while that her and offset had been broken up for a minute right so it went from that to finding out that um offset allegedly may have been back together with jade and uh jade is the girl that uh, cardi b almost went to jail for because she had some of her friends jump her uh allegedly for fooling around with offset in the first place jade come jade uh then says that uh, honey offset is for the streets okay i was like child so cardi b all on instagram y'all know this right having a meltdown i'll listen to all that right well child check it out she got so bad that she even went off on her people, her own people, her own, her own, what do you call them? The barbs or the barbs or whatever. She went off on them because they were, they were saying that Cardi B and Offset was back together, right? They were, they were speculating that Cardi B and Offset were back together, right? And so, uh, then, uh, New Year comes around and what, what did we hear? We heard Cardi B and Offset spent the New Year's together because both of them were performing in the same hotel. Cardi B was um uh her her um oh sorry I can't think about it her um her uh, ooh, or her performance was televised. I don't know if Offset was or not, but I didn't see his performance, but I saw hers right. And so come to find out, they say Cardi B said. Um, that she had told the press that you don't know we ain't back together, or whatever. But we did, have, we did have X. You know, we spent the nights um together and blah blah this and blah blah that. Now I'm 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 just trying to figure out uh is uh offset backpedaling and and pee popping. And the reason why I say that is because rumor has it that um Cardi B has started draining the finances, honey, separating the finances, right? And we know that Cardi B has much more money than Offset. So Audi, uh, Cardi B took out up to se uh, 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 at least 70% of the joint bank account because that money was hers, child, hers. Now, I don't know if Offset is rethinking what's going on or not, but after after it was rumored that Cardi B, uh, that Offset has been with Jade, and honey, Jade is the to me, I, you know, I almost went to jail for this woman, and I, she, she, I'm sorry, she then almost went to jail for this woman, and that's the one you're gonna choose to be with allegedly. I'm thinking, no, Cardi, you gotta have, you gotta be more secure about yourself, and I, I'm, and I'm really kind of shocked that Cardi B is, um, was even willing to be with him on New Year's after all this stuff they saying about him and Jade, Jade Sandy for the streets and all this and all that. But child, that is not a relationship goal, okay? That that whole situation is toxic, okay? And so why she, you know, spazzing out on her people for speculating that they, you know, are back together? The reason why she was upset, in my opinion, Cardi girl, the reason why you was upset because you know they was telling you the truth, girl. They know you want to be back with that man, all right. But anyway, moving right along, moving right along. That's a that's a, a relationship goal, not okay. So I also found out this morning that Rachel Lindsay. Some of you guys might not know who she is. Some of you guys might. Rachel Lindsay um is the first Black Bachelorette um in the Black the Bachelorette sp uh, franchise. This fan. The uh, Bachelorette and the Bachelor franchise on ABC um have been around for almost 20 years or maybe even longer, right? Two decades, right? But Rachel Lindsay um was the first the first black bachelorette, and that was in I think 2016 or early 2017. But anyway, um, she was on there. Um, it was a little controversy um in Rachel's season of The Bachelor. She was with um you know, a couple of the guys, one of the guys I felt like she was really in love with, but she married a guy by the name of Brian Apposolo or something like that. He's a chiropractor. And, but come to find out yesterday that her and Brian are now getting a divorce. Child, not only are they, are they splitsville, but Brian, 
right here. He wants spousal support. Now, I find it very interesting because they don't even have children together. Um, they, the, the, it was, it's been speculated they have had tension in the relationship for a while, um, primarily because uh, allegedly uh, it's hard for it was hard for um, Rachel Lindsay to get pregnant, and we know when that happens, sometimes there can be a lot of tension in the relationship, right? And so, um, I, I just, I, I, Rachel, that's that's my girl. I like Rachel. Rachel went through it uh, behind that bachelor franchise. But anyway, Brian Abasola had to say, um, after pro, after after proposing to Rachel Lindsay um, on the season twelve finale of The Bachelorette, the chiropractor, because be a chiropractor, y'all, and the lawyer, Rachel uh, is a lawyer. Her uh, her daddy is a, a, a judge, a federal judge, by the way. Um, went on to live a fairy tale. The duo married in 2019 in Mexico and a honeymoon a honeymoon in Greece. Um, in January 2024, Us Weekly confirmed that Brian had filed for divorce um, after four years of marriage. So they've been married for four years. Uh, Brian Abasolo has filed for divorce. Not only, like I said, did he file for some of divorce, he also filed for uh, child, uh, spousal support, even though they don't have any children, even though he is a chiropractor. But see, the thing is, Rachel is much more, um, you know, she's got more going for herself, in my opinion, financially, clearly, than he does. And uh, so he, he wants his little piece of change, right? But Rachel says, um, Rachel says this article that people will show you who they are, I always believe them. So my thing, I'm thinking, now see, let me tell y'all this little backstory, right? So years ago, this guy, Brian, the soon-to-be ex-husband, he has been on a series of reality shows. The Bachelorette um, wasn't the first series that he was on. He was on MTV uh, over a decade ago. Um, and he was trying to, you know, get into the reality. To, I can't even think of the name of the show. It was some little you know, uh, another relationship type show. So I think, and they were, they were, they were, uh, he was in there with the guys that were tools and a tool is, you know, a, a, a dude that, you know, like to run around a whole bunch of women and stuff. Right. So he was one of them type guys. Fast forward to the bachelorette, you know, he's on the show, you know, he's, he's, he's here with Rachel. The first time he, he, he met her, he kissed her on the very first night. And, you know, he was just pouring on the charm, Mr. Miami, child, Dr. Dr. Miami, the chiropractor version, right? So he just really pulled on the charm. But Rachel was in love with another guy. And that guy, come to find out, was playing her the whole time. And so Brian, you know, he stuck around to the end and he won or whatever. You know, but now they're getting divorced, child. Now they're getting divorced. I'm really not shocked at all. When it comes to these reality shows and marriages, um, they, they very rarely, you know, last forever or whatever. But as far as Brian, child, girl, Rachel knows she can do better. And I think that they were uh, possibly in love with the fact of being in love. And that's just how I feel about it. But Chad Rachel is moving on with it upward. She's been posting, to, she posted a couple of things on her Instagram, you know, um, about, you know, you know, lessons that she learned in 2023. And uh, I don't feel sorry for Rachel because Rachel, um, she's a very confident woman. And she was so confident to the point to um, when, um, uh, while we're talking about The Bachelor, that Rachel was not happy with the franchise, right? They have they have had for a long time a diversity issue. Now, since Rachel was on the show, they have had uh, they have um, tried to correct that diversity issue. You know what I mean? Is in uh, you know you know uh, <laughs> uh, having more black people on the show, right. To the point where this guy, Chris Harrison, he was the host of the show. When Rachel was on the show, she doesn't feel like she was treated fairly on the bachelor. Uh, I'm gonna say allegedly, but I watched the show. Right. And Chris Harrison, um, uh, I don't know what to say about Chris Harrison. He's something else. But fast forward to, she started being an anchor on excess Hollywood. And so one day, um, they were on Access Hollywood. She was doing an interview with Chris Harrison about another girl that was on there. And they said that she had, um, you know, anti-black rhetoric on her Instagram post. Right. And, you know, uh, Chris Harrison was advocating for the girl, saying, show her some grace and all of this and all of that. Blah, 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 blah. OK. And he was very irritated with Rachel. And I was like, Rachel finally got him because I really felt like Rachel was apt to 
um, not bring down the Bachelor franchise, but kind of, you know, you know, force the issue of diversity because she doesn't feel like she was treated fairly. But honey, the internet went in on Chris Harrison and he had to leave the show. Now he's saying now, years later, that he chose to leave the show, but I, in my opinion, I don't think he, you know, chose to leave the show. I think they, act, you know, they, they, they had to ask him, okay? Because uh, a lot of the Bachelor Nation was against him at that point in time, right? So anyway, uh, after four years, Brian and Rachel, this is the end of their Bachelor story. They are now getting divorced. And Brian, I, I, him and spousal support, I'm not understanding that. But he posted this on his Instagram and access. Um, posted as well, you know, talking about his marriage and the proudest moment was him, you know, being a uh, husband and all this and all that. And my parents have been married forever. Um, and I'm a family man. But sometimes loving yourself and your partner means you must let go. Mm, okay. He said, I wanted the blogs. He said he wanted what? He wants the blogs to start making up their own reality. Okay, child. Anyway, I can't even hardly really read it. The writing's too small. But anyway, basically, um, he said, I wanted to work out, but unfortunately, it couldn't. I wanted to be like my parents. I wanted it to last forever, but unfortunately, it couldn't be that way. Um, in my opinion, Rachel got tired of uh, cheating. They spent so much time apart to where I didn't think they really liked each other like that anymore anyway. But anyway, child, we're going to have to wait to see what happens um, when the divorce goes through. Like I said, Rachel is a lawyer and um, him and spouse and support. I don't think it's going to work out for him. But I'm team Rachel. Once again, I've always been team Rachel. I'm rambling and moving right along. Okay? Now, we got to talk about child Tamar and the Ops. Okay, now, <laughs> back in October, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but every time I look at this man's picture, I laugh. Back in October, um, Tamar and this man named Junior, honey, Junior, um, split up, right? They split up, but they were engaged. Uh, he uh, asked her to marry him when they met on the, uh, real the reality uh, TV show Queen's Court. Which was uh, airing on, um, which was airing on, um, wasn't that Peacock? It was on the Peacock channel. So they met on the Queen's Court reality show. Um, they they appeared to kick it off, and so fast forward to him asking her, um, you know, to marry him, right? And she said yes, and uh, uh, uh you know, they were engaged for a couple of months, and uh, then uh, this past October, like I said, um. You know, they, 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 you know, they split up or whatever. Now, Tamar didn't go to the uh, blogs first. Mr. Junior here, Junior Robinson went to the blogs first. And he was talking about, you know, they got, they breaking up because he got to get back to a positive, you know, his, 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 his positive life. You know what I mean? And so we know that he a cloud chaser, right? He an ambulance chaser and a cloud chaser. I rolled up into one. So anyway, the same day, he put that out on social media that they had break up, broke up. It's the same day um, that, you know, uh, 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 Tamar's car got broke into. Now, I don't know what that was about. I don't know if it was just a coincidence. But anyway, they broke up. They, they broke off the, 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 you know, the engagement or whatever. He went his way and she went her way. So we thought until we seen them um, at the Falcons game, that same Falcons game, where T.I.'s son tried to fight him. I don't know what was going on at that game, honey, but it was clearly more going on in football at that game. All right? People saw them together at the little game, acting like they are incognito, but shall we all saw them? Because Junior wanted it to be seen. He's a clout chaser, like I say, and an ambulance chaser, in my opinion. You know, but after that, honey, he went out on a date with Miss uh, with Miss Tommy Lee. Okay, Tommy Lee is also a reality star, right? So, you know, I don't know, like, what Tamar and him talked about in the background after he asked Miss Tommy Lee out, you know, and uh, evidently they was kicking it for a little quick minute or whatever. I don't really don't know what all the details with that were, but, child, I guess Tommy Lee, um, I guess you wasn't feeling it or whatever, right? He seems to be chasing reality stars, right? So, anyway, fast forward to Christmas, to Christmas, child. 
why Tamar and this man is a, uh, you know, re-engaged, they engaged all over again. He asked her to marry him for the second time on Christmas Day, this past Christmas. What was Christmas? Last week, honey, he done asked her to marry him a second time. So Tamar went to Instagram. Of course, she said three months ago, we thought we hated each other uh, and we were completely over. Child, here we are. Here we are after a simple football game. Told y'all about that game, right? Told y'all about that game since we're after a football game box um, you got for your birthday uh, and one real hard conversation, we knew that whatever happened um, in the past was just that. Anything other than us uh, and our family uh, only mattered. So they just, just, you know, they just in love. They figured it out. You know, we had, you know, uh, uh, too much going on in the background, but we had a hard conversation. And we realized that we really are good together. We are best suited together, okay? So we are back, and we are going to get married once again. You know, we're going to give it a second try. We're going to let it do what it do. But this is not a relationship goal, in my opinion. This is just another toxic relationship. And if they do make it to the altar and they do actually get married, that's only because, in my opinion, really, Tamar is in love with having a reality show more than she's in love with Junior. And I think Tamar feels that her and Junior in a reality show will be really, really good. Okay, that's what I think. That is my opinion. And we we know, of course, that Junior um, is clout chasing him a reality show because he really wants to be on reality TV, in my opinion, as well. He's really invested with this reality world. Dated Tommy Lee, Tamar and him broke up, got back together. But my thing is, Tamar, girl, girl, it's got to be the reality show because Tamar, look at Junior's hair. I mean, the hair piece alone on the top of his head says it all for me. He look like Colonel Sanders, Tamar. Yo, what are you thinking? You might as well go back to Vince for all of that. But you, I guess you figured, you know, hey, you and him will make a good reality show. So we're going to have to wait and see, y'all. Anyway, moving right along, moving right along. Okay. I don't know if you know anything about uh, TJ Holmes and Amy Robach, but they were co-anchors on the ABC uh, GMA show, right? So Amy and uh, Amy and uh, Amy and TJ decides they want to hook up. It started out as a hookup. TJ had hooked up with a lot of people. You know what I mean? Now, I don't know how how her her how or when um her and TJ um finally hooked up, but. Child, you, you know, they started fooling around, child. But TJ had been fooling around with a lot of people, like I said. And it's rumored that they hooked up, really, come to think of it, when they went to uh, uh, went to England to uh, for the coronation of the king, right? So after they came back, you know, the story started coming out that they were, you know, sleeping together or whatever, right? But now Amy Robach and, and uh, TJ was already married, right? And so they got fired from ABC for having this affair and all of this and all of that. You know, uh, TJ left his wife of years, Merle Fibic, uh, but he had, it, it's rumored that he had been cheating on her. He had cheated on her numerous amounts of times, right? Um, they said they called him one time in the office with one of the office assistants. It was a lot going on, right? So um, they got divorced from each other's spouses. Um, you know, they, they, they don't appreciate as being added as adulterers because they didn't feel like uh, TJ and Amy said they actually weren't adulterers. They both were going through a divorce, right? It's what, you know, it's what they're both saying on their, their podcast that they're having now, right? Now, after they got fired from ABC, um, they tried to, you know, um, you know, um, you know, get a couple of shows together. That didn't work out. Nobody don't want to fool with them. And, um, you know, um, they they asked Amy about what she felt about him having all of these extramarital relationships and stuff. And she said it was hard to deal with. She said, good morning, America's Amy Robach um, was blind was blindsided by the volume of, bo of boyfriend T.J. Holmes alleged past affairs um, and feels like she is quote unquote collateral damage um <laughs> in the scandal. Okay, now Amy said that she lost a lot when she divorced TJ Holmes. Um she lost a personal, you know, I, I get they her and her and 
her husband had been married for a while. So she feels like she lost a lot. She lost her reputation. You know, she of course she lost her anchor job. You know, TJ, she was shocked of the, of all the fooling around that he had been doing. I don't know why was she under a rock. Like I'm confused because he had did a you know he had a a, a couple of affairs um with um uh with some of the women. It's alleged at ABC, right? Well, now fast forward <laughs> to TJ Holmes is feeling away. TJ Holmes is feeling away because his wife. <laughs> TJ Holmes now ex-wife is now in a relationship with um with Amy Robox husband. Yes, I say she is in a relationship with Amy Robox husband. Now this is not a relationship goal in my opinion because honey, I feel like they're trauma bonded. They're trauma bonded after the divorce and now uh, uh Amy Robox husband, he's, which is this guy in the uh, in the middle actor Andrew Shu. Uh, is in a relationship with Merle. I'm thinking this is a trauma bond, rebound relationship or whatever. But anyway, TJ don't appreciate it because TJ want his wife back. Okay, so he was throwing shade on, her po uh, on the podcast, okay, about her fooling around with Andrew Shue because, you know, they're all down divorce and all this and all that, right? So he says, Holmes 46 and girlfriend Amy Robach used Tuesday, January 2nd uh, episode of their Amy and TJ podcast to divorce to discuss the lessons they learned in 2023. Amy, girl, let me tell you what lesson you should have learned. The lesson that Amy should have learned in 2023 was how you get them is how you going to lose them, boo. Okay, now TJ want to go home. He didn't ever want to leave home in the first place, but TJ didn't have a choice because their affair was made public, even though they didn't feel like it was a fair, even though they said they was both going through a divorce at the time. And I'm thinking, well, if it's not a fair, how are you and TJ going through the divorce at the same dang on time? Like, I find that very interesting and very convenient, right? But come to find, I guess Amy, which is 50 years old, and, you know, uh, <laughs> TJ is 46. Now, Amy, girl girl but she said they was in true love and they was gonna work together and they're gonna figure this thing out but amy girl let me tell you amy this is not a relationship goal how you get them is how you gonna lose them child and you and tj ain't gonna make it in my opinion now as far as andrew shrew and uh uh, uh him and him and merle lee right here whatever her name is yeah, I, I really don't. I, I, I can't. This is like a whole trauma bonded relationship. It's going to end up toxic. And maybe they just, you know, they just, you know, doing what they're doing right now. This ain't a forever situation. Right. But anyway, that's all of the tea I have. Will, now, my thing is, is TJ going to get his wife back? Now, if Merle is smart, because she's an attorney, she's a very smart woman. If she is smart. She will let TJ stay where he is, okay? That's what he seemingly wanted, and that's what he got, and now he's stuck, okay, and can't go nowhere else. But if Amy Robach ever parts ways with TJ Holmes, you best believe she will get her a job back, okay? They will forgive her. But now as far as TJ go, the way he be slanging it around here, um, TJ, I think you screwed up your whole career. For, for for a situation ship, okay? That's what I think, y'all. I don't I don't think he's ever gonna have it the way he had it before because of this situation ship, you know. Uh, but as far as as far as me thinking, will they work it out? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think it's gonna work out. And I think that uh, they're gonna break up eventually because he already is allegedly fooling around. And this is kind of, you know, honestly, her karma. You know, and honestly, it's TJ's karma as well, um, because their two spouses um, have moved on. They done moved it right along, right? So anyway, y'all, that's all I got. Thanks for listening to me ramble on about these non-relationship goals, child. Non-relationship goals for 2024, right? Thanks for watching my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notifications bell so that you will be notified when I post another video. And I'm going to talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 I almost forgot. I appreciate y'all so much for watching my channel, um, joining my channel. I just had to say this. Um, I, I am very excited 
um about you know things to come on the channel and i just want to thank you guys so much anyway i gotta go peace Ooh, that's hard.